Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with another flipped math learning video. Our learning goal tonight is I can divide numbers with decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000. So for our guiding question, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve the following problems. 370 and 2 tenths divided by 10 and 126 and 4 tenths divided by 100. Now when I say solve, I mean solve using mental math, not actually doing the division problem. So let's flip on over and look at some vocabulary for this video. So let's look at a little bit of vocabulary for this lesson. We start with a multiple. A multiple is like skip counting, like 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. We have our dividend, that's the number down here that you are dividing. Our divisor, the number you're dividing by. And our quotient, which is the answer or result of the division. Okay, so our strategies for success to be able to divide by 10, 100, and 1,000 um, in numbers containing decimals is very much the same as multiplying, only we move the decimal the other way. So for these strategies, we're going to first count the number of zeros in the divisor, and then we're going to move the decimal to the left equal to that number of zeros. So let's look at some practice together and see if we can get the hang of this skill. Okay, so those first problems we're going to do, I want you to practice with me. And then I'll have some for you to practice on your own. So by practice with me, I want you to go ahead and write the problem down on the paper. And then I want you to work it with me. This means if you need to pause so that you can get it down on paper, then do that so that you can work the problems with me. So our first practice with me problem is going to be 72 and 5 tenths divided by 10 equals. Now remember for these problems we want to use mental math. We don't actually want to do the division. So our first strategy for success is to count the zeros. The number 10, the divisor, has one zero. That means in 72 and 5 tenths, we're going to take our decimal, move it one place to the left because we are divided. So it's going to be 7 and 25 hundredths. Number two, we're going to have 28 and 14 hundredths divided by 100. Okay, so we count our zeros. One, two, we take our decimal and move it one, two places to the left because we are dividing. So our number becomes zero and 2,814 ten thousandths. Third practice problem, 42 and 5 tenths. We're going to divide that by 1,000. So count our zeros, 1, 2, 3. Move our decimal, 1, 2, 3. Fill the hole with a zero. Zero, four, two, five. So we have 425 ten thousandths. Let's do a few more together before you do some on your own. So 23 and 7,500 divided by 1. 
We have no zeros, so we don't move our decimal place at all. It's going to be 23 and 75 hundredths. We're going to have 509 and 3 tenths divided by 1,000. 1, 2, 3 zeros. That means our decimal moves 1, 2, 3 spaces. And there is our answer, 5,093 ten thousandths. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear this board off, and I want you to work some on your own problems. You're going to go on your own, and then you are going to check with me. So your first on your own problem is 98 and 2 tenths divided by 100. Next on your own problem is 13 and 65 hundredths divided by 10. Next one is 75 and 3 tenths divided by 100. Next one is 890 and 1 tenth. Divide that by 1,000. And the last on your own problem is going to be 5 and 67 hundredths divided by 100. Now that you've got those written down, go ahead and pause the video, work these problems on your own, and then come back and check with me. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and double check your work. Number six, we have one, two zeros. That means our decimal goes one, two spaces. 982 thousandths. Number seven, we have one zero. Our decimal goes one place. One and 365 thousandths. One, two, one, two. 753 thousandths, one, two, three, one, two, three, eight thousand nine hundred one ten thousandths, one, two, one, two, fill the hole with a zero. 567 ten thousandths. Okay, I hope those worked well for you. We're going to do one more section of work just because I want to test your skills. In this test your skills work, we're going to go back and forth some multiplication and some division. So 234 and 5 tenths multiplied by 10. 234 and 5 tenths divided by 10. Six and nine tenths multiplied by one thousand, and six and nine tenths divided by one thousand. 
Okay, go ahead and pause the video now, do your work, and then come back and check with me. Welcome back, let's get to work. This is multiplication by 10. Multiplication, I want my number to get bigger, so my decimal moves to the right in one spot. I get 2,345. Number 12, we have division by 10, one space. Division, my number gets smaller, so I move it one space to the left. So I have 23 and 45 hundredths. Let's look at this next set down here. Multiplication, I want it to get bigger. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fill those holes with zeros, and I get 6,900. We've got division, and I go one, two, three. One, two, three, zero, zero. So we get the number 69 ten thousandths. So I hope this video has helped you to understand the mental process of dividing by tens, one hundreds, and one thousands. You really do not have to do the division work. You can just move your decimal. Hope it's helped you review multiplying. So let's go back to the questions we had at the beginning of the video. Our guiding questions here. We had 370 and 2 tenths divided by 10. 10 has one zero, so our decimal should move back one place, and we get 37 and 2 hundredths. We have 126 and 4 tenths divided by 100. 1, 2, our decimal goes back 1, 2, so we get 1 and 264 thousands. Have a nice night. I hope you understand these concepts. If not, bring me questions to class and I will certainly help you understand.